One day after President Trump pardons John Ponder, the former convicted felon who established the nonprofit Hope for Prisoners here in Las Vegas, the activist is sharing with 8 News Now what the experience was like. Anchor Kirsten Joyce caught up with him today via Skype. Yes, Brian Ponder tells me he was asked to fly to Washington, D.C. to share his story and his relationship with law enforcement, and the pardon came as a complete surprise to him. He says what had happened, it validated so many different things for him. He reflected on how life had come full circle, and he's still trying to wrap his mind around the magnitude of exactly what it all means. President Trump signed the full pardon in a seven-minute video released by the White House yesterday ahead of the second evening of the GOP convention. Ponder and the former FBI agent who arrested him have since become close friends. Trump described how Ponder, after being arrested for bank robbery, began studying the Bible in prison and later founded Hope for Prisoners, a re-entry program that helps former prisoners begin productive lives. It's an encouragement to the other formerly incarcerated people that are out there in the community that's working hard and taking advantage of the of second chances. I think there was evidence that, you know, if you work hard um, and, and do the right thing and do not commit other crimes and, uh, and stay the course that, you know, what happened to me yesterday uh, is available to, to, any, uh, to anybody. Two years ago, Trump invited Ponder to the Rose Garden, where the president recognized his achievements nationally for the first time. And earlier this year, President Trump was the guest speaker at the Hope for Prisoners graduation ceremony here in Las Vegas. Ponder says with the full pardon, he has retained his right to vote. He calls it a privilege and says he's looking forward to being able to vote for his very first time in a presidential election.